Hi! Variables in tabular data can be classified into numerical and categorical types. Be careful to understand the differences between them and their specific types as they play a significant role in model creation. Numerical data represents quantities that can be measured and written as numbers. The two main types are continuous and discrete data. Continuous can be understood as any number including fractions and decimals. Example height. Discrete data consists of whole numbers, often counting things. Example, number of people in a room. Note, variables that can potentially have infinite whole numbers are also discrete. Categorical data represents categories or groups and labels data without a numerical value. AI models fully consist of numeric operations. So, how do we feed text data? You can encode text into numbers! The easiest example is a binary example, like gender. You can just assign zero to a male and one to a female and use those numbers in model training. This is a common practice and is always used for encoding binary variables. But what if we have four categories? There is an important point here. Categories can be either ordinal or nominal, meaning that they either can have an order or be unordered. For instance, you can have very bad, bad, good, and very good, which is ordinal data. These categories have an order or ranking. We can confidently map them to numbers. But what if we have colors? Red, blue, green, and orange. Models in AI assume that the numerical values have a meaningful relationship, meaning zero is smaller than one, one is smaller than two, etc. For encoding nominal, unordered data, you need a technique called one-hot encoding. One-hot encoding creates a separate column for each category and contains a one if the category is present and a zero if it is not. It simply creates binary variables from each category. Now you may ask, what if I have 1,000 unique categories? My dataset will have more than 1,000 columns. These are important questions to be answered in the upcoming videos, so subscribe to stay updated. If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, subscribe to our channel to be aware of the new videos. Press the like button and let's discuss AI in the comments section.